All right, hello everybody, and welcome to the start of a series on Resistance Fall of Man glitches. <clears throat> uh, I'm playing single player, so all of these glitches will be possible single player. Uh, there are a multitude of additional glitches when you add in a second player, but I'm not going to be doing that in this series. <clears throat> so we're going to play through the entire series, uh, starting with the gauntlet. Uh, there's not too much of interest here. This is going to include everything, be them helpful or useless glitches. Uh, so, yeah, I'll point things out when I get to them. In the meantime, I'll just be playing the level. Uh, if anyone's interested, I can also give speedrun advice. Um, I currently hold the world record in this game. Uh, but I'll only drop that if anyone is interested in it. So, the first thing of interest is this, uh, barrier right here can actually be hopped on. If you do it, you could do it from the front, um... And from there, you actually can hop directly onto this. Um, you actually get a little bit more hop height or jump height if you do a slight, like, rotate like you see I'm doing. And from here, you can get onto this Jeep. Jeep. You can get onto this bus. Unfortunately, the only objects around here that you'd think I could jump on are protected. There's a large invisible wall there, and this is not even a surface you can stand on. But, as you can see, I'm clearly out of bounds. Uh, I have yet to figure anything out with this, though. Uh, additionally, while we're in this area, <clears throat> you start the game right there. This huge hole Use this as a marker. You can come into this corner right here. And using it, you can clip. So the way clipping works in this game, uh, to simplify it, is basically two corners uh, geometry meet, but it's an uneven meeting. And we get this wiggle thing. So you see right now I'm clipping in. And that's how you know that you're successfully clipping. Uh, I believe I picked the wrong corner. So give me a sec. This one. You can clip into most of these corners, but only one actually has any potential value. I believe it's this one. I'm trying to... Yeah, it's it's definitely this one. I was correct on the first try. I just got to get, get into it. So, you can see I've clipped in and around. You can actually... The furthest that I've managed to make it is through this large uh, gray structure here. Uh, potentially, there is... A lot to be found in this one uh, but at the same time uh, the other side of this is a uh, bottomless pit so I don't know what you would gain if you made it to the other side but it's pretty clear how easy it is to clip into this um, and you you clip in and you swing yourself around and the force will clip you through but I'm not making it through that wall uh, and there's not much interest in doing so. <clears throat> so the next major clip is... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse
excuse me, at the end of the level. Uh, and again, it's pretty useless. Oh, you can get on top of this bus as well. Uh, you just hop on this dirt mound and hop onto this bus like that. Uh, unfortunately, there's an invisible wall, wall right there, which is the only potential thing I see you could do from here, which kind of makes this unfortunately useless. Uh, the end of the level is quite a ways down, so I don't know what you would gain were you to make it there either. Um, one of the levels we'll get to later, Manchester uh, 1, as we call it. I uh, don't remember the actual name off the top of my head. Uh, has a, a out of bounds that uh, while it's at the start of the level, it the way Insomniac coded this game is it literally allows you to walk to the end of the level. Don't know why. But it's a thing, and we use it in uh, runs. <laughs> Alright. <coughs> I apologize for coughing. I'm recovering from a sickness. <clears throat> but I'm feeling pretty good. <clears throat> so, the second glitch <clears throat> is right here you see how these two pieces of terrain i'm doing things with my hands you can't see them don't exactly match well there's two ways to do this you could do it from the ground which is pretty fine you see i'm already clipping just by jumping into it like this um more likely than not though what's gonna happen if you do that is the game will either shoot you up will shoot you down depending on where is easiest uh, and if you clip into most objects it likes to go down uh, and underneath us this is just a thin uh, like five pixel plane uh, so if we get shunted beneath it will fall as I'll, I will demonstrate this is not hard to get on but whatever but if you do it from here it's basically guaranteed. Uh, yeah, I'm about to clip. Oh, I'm in it right now. So, the game... There we go, I clipped under. So this is the most common thing that will happen. Um, you'll just clip under like that, and you'll fall and die. Thankfully, the kill plane is pretty high on this one. Uh, I'm going to try it <clears throat> maybe two more times. See if I can get some of the other outcomes. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. <coughs> Jeez. So, the other things that can happen are <clears throat> it will pop you up uh, and you can land on this gate like this. Oh, I was on it, but I moved. <clears throat> Put me up, damn. There. But if you get up on it, you basically can walk around on top of this structure. Uh, it's all, this is all too thin to walk on. At least I haven't been successful on doing so. Uh, we are at the end of the level. It's over that way, but I don't know what you'd gain. And the third outcome is you can actually get through this pretty easily <clears throat> you see each time i'm going in i'm getting a little higher we call that uh, i guess the term now is the super jump uh it's much easier to do with two players but uh it does have potential anyway if i can get through this you can get into this area uh though there's really nothing over there to uh to show off it 
It's, there's an alley right there, and it, it dead ends and falls off into a bottomless void over there. I'll try one more time to get in, see if I can. Damn. I've only successfully gotten through this once. Uh, mm, it was largely useless. Yeah, I'm stuck. Oh, I got really high. Anyway, there's nothing else in this level, so I'm simply going to finish it out. <clears throat> uh, hopefully the videos will be roughly like this. Uh, here's the end of the level. Um, you can walk along this wall here and get uh, over to that area there, which is technically out of bounds, because I don't think they intended you to get over there in this whole area over here, but there's nothing over there. Uh, there's a huge invisible wall that surrounds this hill here. So, yep. It's another, another dead end. Uh, so next time we'll be doing York 2, which has... Nothing exciting. Do this, but <clears throat> yeah, we'll get to that one. See you all later.